Today, we will be learning about impression making for a fixed partial denture. As we all know, the definition of a dental impression is a negative imprint of hard teeth and soft tissues in the mouth from which a positive reproduction, cast or model can be formed. Why do we make an impression in dentistry? The purpose of dental impressions is to create an exact mold of the tooth or teeth for restorations, orthodontic appliances or prosthodontic treatment. An accurate impression can produce a successful restoration. There are numerous types of impression materials available in dentistry like hydrocolloid impression materials and elastomeric impression materials. In hydrocolloid, there are irreversible and reversible and in elastomeric impression, there are polysulfide, addition silicone, condensation silicone and polyether dimethacrylate. The ideal impression material should be able to wet the oral tissues so that the material can flow easily into the gingival sulcus. Viscosity means it should have sufficient flow to record finer details, especially the finish line and the material should be cost effective. Now, let's look at the different impression techniques in fixed partial dentures. In the stock tray or putty wash impression technique, there are two types, double mix and single mix. Next is the custom tray impression single mix technique, the closed white double arch method or triple tray technique, the segmental impression technique and post space impressions. Let's have a look at them one by one. Firstly, impression making using a stock tray is also known as the putty wash technique. Basically, over here, what we do is, we make a primary impression with a stock tray and the final impression is made by using the primary impression in the form of the custom tray. There are two methods for this putty wash impression, a double mix technique and a single mix. So, what is the indication of this putty wash impression? This putty wash impression is used in cases where a combination of medium to heavy bodied elastomer and light bodied elastomer is necessary. The advantages of this are that we are using the stock tray. So this tray is readily available. And the next one is that this tray which we are using is the metal tray. So they are rigid, they do not distort easily. The disadvantage is that as they are stock trays, we need to sterilize the tray and more impression material is required for this particular impression material technique. Now we'll start with the double mix impression technique. First, what we will do is select a suitable stock tray and then we are going to apply tray adhesive over this tray and mix the putty material. This putty material is available as a base and catalyst. So we are going to take an equal amount of base and catalyst paste, mix them well together till we get a rope form consistency and load it in the selected tray. After that, we are going to place the spacer material over this putty material. But why are we doing this? Because it is a double mix, we are going to make the impressions twice. First, the primary impression and then the final impression. We need some space for this final impression. To accommodate that space, we are going to apply a polythene sheet over the material. So, after the impression is made and the material has set, we are going to remove the spacer that we have applied over it and then we are going to upload the next material that is nothing but light body impression material. It is syringed over the putty impression and also over the prepared tooth and makes an impression that is our final impression. Now single mix is basically when we use both of these materials that is the light body and the heavy body material simultaneously. So in the single mix First, we are going to load the putty material and instead of making the impression, we directly syringe the light body material over the putty material and then we make the impression at once. So this is about a single mixed putty wash impression. The next impression technique is by using custom trays. The custom trays are used when you are making the impression of the distal most part of the arch where the stock tray cannot cover. So the custom trays are used when you are preparing multiple teeth. This technique is a single step technique. An acrylic special tray is made over the cast with two sheets of tinfoil spacer to provide space for the impression material. And after that, we are going to mix the self curing resin to fabricate the custom tray. Once the custom tray is ready, we are going to remove the wax and tinfoil. Then we will create the vents, which means we are going to make holes in that custom tray. Now on the inner surface of the custom tray, 
we are going to apply the tray adhesive uniformly. Then we are going to load the medium body elastomeric impression material onto the tray. And then we will inject it with light body elastomeric impression material on prepared teeth. We are going to place this loaded tray over the prepared teeth for making an impression. Once the material is polymerized, we are going to remove the impression and inspect it for accuracy. The advantage of this technique is that less amount of impression material is used and they are more hygienic as they are custom made for the individual patient. The uniformity of the impression material also reduces the chances of distortion. The disadvantage of the custom tray is that it is time consuming and cannot be used on other patients or patients who are allergic to monover. The next technique is the dual arch or triple tray or close bite impression technique. This type of technique is indicated in patients with existing anterior guidance and in patients who can completely close at maximum intercuspation. The fit of the tray is evaluated and the patient is instructed to bite onto the tray. This tray consists of a plastic frame with a plastic sieve and a handle. We are going to mix a high viscosity impression material and load it onto the tray. Then we will inject the low viscosity light body material onto the prepared teeth and ask the patient to bite onto this tray. The patient is instructed to bite in a maximum intercuspation position and in this position allow the material to polymerize. Once the material is polymerized, the patient is asked to open their mouth slowly. Then we are going to remove the impression tray and evaluate our impression. The advantage of this material is that we are using very less impression material as only one section of the arch is recorded. We are also going to record both the arches simultaneously. So it is less time consuming and we are recording the impression in maximum intercuspation position so that it is recorded more accurately. The drawback of this technique is that, as the trays are not rigid, distortion of the impression material can occur, which will question the accuracy of the impression. Then, we have the segmental impression technique. It is indicated in cases where the impression is made on multiple teeth simultaneously, in patients where moisture control and isolation is difficult, and in patients who have a limited mouth opening, like in mild oral submucosis fibrosis cases. How do we use this technique? The impression of the arch with multiple prepared teeth is made in segments. So we divide the segments and make the custom tray segment wise. If we are using only a single segment, then we can use the segmental stock tray. And if we have multiple prepared teeth, then we are going to prepare a custom tray in the segment over the diagnostic cast. So we are going to apply the tray adhesive onto the selective tray. And then we are going to load automix polyvinyl siloxane onto the tray. We are going to seat it onto the particular segment of that arch on the prepared tooth. Once the material is set, the tray is not removed and we will be recording another segment. Once we have completed the impression of the entire arch, we are going to use the oversized stock tray which is used to make a pickup impression with appropriate material. Once the material is set, we are going to remove the entire assembly which will be containing the segmental trays and the stock tray. The completed impression will then be evaluated and poured. The drawback of this technique is that we cannot evaluate each segment before making the final impression. The next impression technique is the post space impression technique. In this technique, we are going to have a J shaped wire and once we are done with the post space preparation, we are going to place this J shaped wire. Then we are going to apply tray adhesive onto this wire and coat the wire with light body elastomeric impression material. With the help of a lentulo spiral, we are going to place the light body impression material into the post space. Then we will mix the putty materials on a stock tray and make an impression. After this material is polymerized, we have to remove the impression and pour it with gypsum product. Then we get a cast in which we have a replica of the post space. This post space will be used for fabricating wax pattern and for making a cast customized post and core. That's it for this video. Let's do a quick recap. A dental impression is a negative imprint of hard and soft tissues in the mouth from which a positive reproduction, cast or model can be formed. The purpose of dental impressions is to create an exact mold of the tooth or teeth for restorations, orthodontic appliances or prosthodontic treatment. There are numerous types of impression materials available in dentistry like hydrocolloid impression material and elastomeric impression material. Hydrocolloids are divided into irreversible and reversible. Elastomeric impression materials are polysulfide, addition silicone, condensation silicone and polyether dimethaacrylate. 
The different abrasion techniques in FPD are stock tray and putty wash impressions.